Hello chess friends, so today we are going to take a look at a nice chess problem. It was also found in the book of Mark Dorosky. So we are in good company, we are enjoying good company here. So it's white to play and win the game. As you can see white's chances of winning are very very slim because we have got a rook spawn and the chance of a rook spawn winning the game is very low. Good thing is we have also got a knight and his knight, black's knight is trapped over here so it cannot come over here or here because the king guards both the squares. So basically he is having some trouble but we cannot directly play for example if you are okay just just uh, go ahead try to give yourself a few minutes and try to uh, find the correct solution okay so i hope you have paused the video and found the correct solution it's not very difficult king to g2 is not the solution first of all we can win the knight but the problem is the black king goes for our pawn and after we take the knight there is king h5 followed by just taking the pawn and there are that's a draw. So king g2 is not going to work. It's not the move that's going to work here. So basically we have to ensure that before capturing the knight, we need to uh, we need to have the pawn protected, well guarded. So let's get a knight uh, in the game. So it's it's uh, the correct move. There are only one correct move here. That's to play knight to c2, sorry, a knight to c2. Yep, that's the correct variation. Now the idea is, after king to g6, we have to play knight to e1, the only winning move here. All right, so uh, basically we are going to make use of the g2 square. For example, king h5, knight to g2. The knight uses the g2 square and protects the pawn. And now basically it's a rook swan. Black king has to move. If the knight moves, we'll basically take it. And uh, I mean here or here, we'll simply take it with the king. And uh, yeah, it's, it's easily winning then. And that's the reason black has to move his king. Once his move is king, this is where we play knight to f4. So we have finally got a knight in the game. We have got a pawn. All we have to do is uh, protect the pawn with a knight. And that can happen after, let's say something like uh, king to f5. We play h5. Finally, the pawn is guarded by the knight. And next move, let's say he just moves his king. We can now go for the knight. We can now eat the, eat the knight, we can have uh, our breakfast and no matter what he plays here, he's lost. Basically, for example, if he takes this, uh, just a second, if he waits his, with king h6, we can just carry on with takes and this is completely winning. So he can't really do that. Again, waiting over here doesn't really help. So waiting doesn't help. What happens if he tries to bring out his knight? Nothing. We just take it, we just pick it up and there's nothing. We are winning the game. Even though we have a rook spawn. Basically, we can kick him out of the corner because we have got a knight as well. And that's the reason this is winning. All right. So king to g2. And now we will see the correct option. Uh, let us uh, let us assume he plays something like. Oh, pardon me. Let us assume he plays something over here. Something like just uh, king moving. Uh, let me let me see. Let me see. Let's try to play a good move from him. Knight to g3, king at 6 king takes h4. Yeah, king takes f4. Let's let's try to see what happens if he takes uh, knight on f4. Now, basically, we don't have to take the knight. In fact, we cannot take the knight. If we take the knight, the problem is king goes towards the pawn and picks it up either here or here, and that will be draw. That's the reason we cannot pick up the knight. But after uh, a move like knight to f4 we just simply push forward and now the king cannot stop the pawn it's just too late the pawn is running ahead what happens if the knight tries to stop it nothing really because we'll simply push forward with h7 and knight has three squares as you can see knight has three squares here this one this one this one none of which is going to help him because he can't really just stop the promotion there are no forks nothing and we just push forward promote it to a queen and that is completely winning so the the main move here is just to play knight to c2 followed by knight to e1 and this is the key idea these are the only moves that win so knight c2 knight e1 only moves that win and the beauty of this problem is we get a knight to the g2 square it's a beautiful square and finally after putting the knight on f1 we just push forward a pawn the pawn is now well guarded it's protected and all we have to do is pick up the knight i mean go for the knight we don't need to pick up for example, if it takes, if it just waits, then we pick up. For example, if it waits here, here, or here, then we can pick up the knight. In other cases, like uh, we just saw, if it takes, we go home. We push the pawn, 
all the way towards the home and that is winning. So hope you've enjoyed this excellent chess problem. This is also in the book of Mark Dorosky. So definitely an, uh, we are in very, very, very good company. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more such uh, chess problems and puzzles. Bye.